You see that look on John Cena's face? That face that says, I'm going to fucking kill you. Look at poor Jack Swagger there. He is scared to death. Okay. Sure, this is all an act. This is wrestling. It's entertainment. But this right here, this picture alone, that's some good acting right there. Because John Cena came out. And whipped the hell out of Jack Swagger. But before I get into that, I want to focus focus on that look. The look of John Cena. Just look at his face. When I saw this on Raw this past Monday night, I immediately thought back 10 years ago to John Cena's debut on SmackDown against Kurt Angle. When Kurt Angle came out and challenged anyone in the locker room to a fight. John Cena accepted that challenge. He had a different look about him back then. He had a different move set as well. Uh, a more extensive move set. He had a look in his eyes, his face, just all over that said, I'm a badass son of a bitch. He chimed the term ruthless aggression back then in 2002. And, and some would say that that's an era in its own self, you know, the ruthless aggression era. The same look that he had in 2002, I see it in this picture in front of me. John Cena about ready to hit Jack Swagger with another blow to the face. John Cena has a look that says, I mean business. And it also says to me that I am not taking it anymore. So has Kane truly gotten to John Cena to where he will embrace the hate? Kane and John Cena have been at each other's throats the past several weeks. Zack Ryder gets involved. Now Zack Ryder's hurt. And now he's lost the United States Championship to that very man in the picture getting his ass kicked by John Cena. That's right. Jack Swagger did win the United States title, which I think is great, by the way. The All-American American with the United States gold. Works for me. John Cena has been the face of the company for many, many years now. He has made the WWE so much money that they have no idea what to do with it. So they decide to go out and make crappy movies and, you know, things like that. You know, that tells me that John Cena has done his job right. Because the reason the WWE is able to do all these things other than pro wrestling, a lot of that comes from John Cena. You know, merchandise sales, ticket sales. Yes, for a long time and somewhat even today, people wanted to see John Cena. And yes, there is that other group of people, the other group of fans that are tired of seeing John Cena. John Cena, the guy that goes out there and does everything the same day in and day out. You know, when John Cena debuted back in 2002 against Kurt Angle, when he had that ruthless aggression, to me, he was so much more enjoyable to watch because he had something to prove, something to show everyone. Nobody knew who John Cena was back then. He wasn't Super Cena back in those days. He was just John Cena. An up and coming professional wrestler. Trying to make a name for himself in the WWE. He had a great move set back in those days. He had a great attitude. He still has a great attitude. But what I mean attitude. I mean in his character. He had a great attitude for his character. And he became the rapper John Cena. The guy that everyone despised and hated because he would dish you in a moment. He would put a dish wrap on you like that and make you walk home. So what I'm saying is that now that John Cena has turned face, since he stepped away from being the heel, you know, he became the good guy. He's won the multiple championships. He's loved by all. Okay, we all seen that side of John Cena now. And, you know, it wouldn't hurt for the character of John Cena to take another unexpected turn. Okay, a lot of people say that John Cena's not going to turn heel because of what I just said earlier. Because he makes 
the WWE so much money. But believe me when I tell you that the WWE will continue to make money. It doesn't matter what you do with some wrestlers. Some wrestlers you can try to turn bad and the fans will still love them. Stone Cold comes to mind for sure. We've been asking this question, will John Cena turn heel for so long now that we know it's almost like the boy that cried wolf. Because the WWE puts John Cena in these predicaments where you think that the only way out is for him to, you know, actually go against the grain and do something that a face like John Cena wouldn't normally do. The time with Nexus where he said, well, if you can't beat him, join them you know the times like that where you're like wow is this actually going to happen the fans want it and it would be a nice change for the business especially in the wwe the wwe is in this direction they're going in a new direction in 2012 and it's going to be interesting to see exactly how everything turns out because With CM Punk being the champion and Daniel Bryan being the world heavyweight champion. Guys like Jack Swagger now is the United States champion. And Cody Rhodes still dominating the Intercontinental title. And now you have newly crowned tag team champions and Epico and Primo. And of course Beth Phoenix still as the Divas champion. But you have a new look in the championship division all around the board. You know, a lot of champions are first-time champions. So it's great to see the fact that the WWE has seen and realized that they need to go this direction with having other superstars hold these titles. Okay, it's out with the old and in with the new, like they say. So John Cena, will he turn heel? Well, I, I, I think so. I do think so. Will Kane be the man that is responsible for turning John Cena heel? I sure hope so. I think Kane is great. Uh, If anyone can do it and pull it off successfully, I think Kane can do that. The only thing is, is how is this heel turn going to happen? You have Kane planting the seed in John Cena's head of embracing the hate. Just forget all those fans and do what you got to do. The only question now is, who is he going to take out the aggression on? Sure, you see the picture here of John Cena totally destroying Jack Swagger, and you're thinking, well, he just took out his aggression on him. Yeah, but he doesn't count. Jack Swagger is not a baby face. He needs to have that one baby face that totally just turns him heel a guy like Rey Mysterio a fan favorite like that would be great when Rey Mysterio finally makes his return whenever that will be I think it would be cool if John Cena could take out some more of that ruthless aggression out on Rey Mysterio I just think since he's such a fan favorite that the fans would really have no problem booing him just some food for thought well, anyways, this is Gold Dizzy. My thoughts on John Cena's whole ordeal with Kane and, you know, his possible heel turn. Like I said, we've seen this type of video before numerous times, and we've all said that it would be cool, but it's never happened. But I think it's about that time. 2012, a new year for the WWE, and a new look, a new focus a new character if you will for john cena let's see how it turns out this is gold is leave your thoughts in the comments below peace out